We'll guide you through how to screen record on Windows 11. If you find this guide useful, consider subscribing and liking the video and let's get into it. Windows 11 has a built-in screen recorder that we can go and use. So let me show you how you can go and set it up and use it. So firstly, come to the bottom of Windows and click on search and then type in snipping tool, just like this. Then go and click on it like this. Now by default, you may be thinking this is a screenshot tool, but if you go to the right of the snip tool, we can go and tap on the camera, which is for record. And then what you want to do is go and click on new recording like this. And then what we can do is go and select the area you want to record. So if this is your, your full screen, go to the top and then click and drag. So you select your whole screen like this and then let go once you're happy. And then what we can do is come to the top here. We've got the start recording button. You've got the duration. You then got uh, your mic, so you can click here. By default, it will be muted and you can go and select your mic as well. Once you selected your mic, go and click on mute to unmute it. And then to the right of mute, you can go and decide if you want to mute your system audio or if you want to go and record it. So I'll mute my system audio and record my voice. And then I'll go and press on start recording. And then you'll have this countdown here. And just like that, we're now recording our screen. So you can then go and record what you want. And once you're finished, you can then just go and press on the red recording button at the top. What you're going to have is a pause button and a stop recording button. So when you're ready to stop recording, click there like so. And just like that, we can now go and see our screen recording. So it is quite big, so I'll just make it a bit smaller just so I can properly see it. And then what you can do is press the play button and you can play it back. And as you can see, there is the recording. And then what we can do is go up to the top right and you can edit it using Clipchamp. Or you can just go and click on the save recording button in the top right like this. You can choose where you want to go and save it. I'll put it on my desktop, just like that. And then it'll go and be saved. So I can quit off this and then here's the recording. I can open it up and then look at it again. And it's that easy. If you found this guide useful, then please leave a like.